The last 18 months were very difficult. There were many limitations, people were exhausted. PPE was always in the way. Staying at home, homeschooling, everything being on a screen, not being able to see anybody. Somehow the last kind of 18 months are just a bit of a blur. Because we had to stay in our own bubbles. I missed my friends a lot. Yeah, it'll be um, really nice to get that Christmas so spirit yeah, back. Yeah. I love Christmas. <laughs> From day one of December, you can feel the air. Christmas is one of those days that it just brings on, like, come out, like, so happy. Waking up my parents, too excited to wait. My favourite thing about Christmas in schools is the nativity. We do go all out because we encourage everyone to come as their favourite nativity character. When I was in year two, I was the star. I love um, the songs. I normally lose my voice around Christmas because we're just singing them all the time. Some of my fondest memories of Christmas is um, being woken to start singing at the four o'clock morning service in the West Indies. I play the piano and I sing, so we did a lot of obviously worship videos on the online church. You walk to church and you know everybody was in a vibrant mood and I love that. It's almost like the one and only time of year where Almost everything stops, everybody gathers with family, everybody slows down and actually connects with what's really important. Christmas for so many people is not always a yippee-do time, whether that might be because of your health. For bereaved people, there's so much expectation um, that Christmas is going to be a time of happiness. We had a daughter who sadly died some years ago. So the first Christmas, it was just so hard. So we decided to visit family uh, and they gave us the love and support we needed. The most important thing that we have in life is the relationships that we have one with another and ultimately with God. Friends, family and faith. I always felt that Christmas brings people together in their desire to fight darkness and to find light. It's the kindness that kept us going. And I think that's how God comes to us, through people that surround you. A big part of what we were trying to do is reassure one another that we're all gonna take care of one another. And much one left neutral aid was a bit more so that nobody fell through the cracks. Sharing, that is what is at the heart of Christian me, sharing. During the first lockdown, I think we delivered 10,000 mm. meals around Much Wenlock. Seeing people pull together and seeing the joy that you can give people just by delivering them a meal on a mm. Sunday. Yeah. There's so much comfort and hope that I take from the Christmas story. Jesus came into the world, um, this broken world, um, to give us a certain hope. Faith holds my whole life together and it has travelled with me wherever I was and wherever I was going. The heart of Christmas for me is spending time with family and decorate the trees and buy presents for each other. I had to sum up Christmas in one word. Uh, that word would be love. Love for those who are still with us, uh, love for those who've gone before us and um, the love of the Christ child at Bethlehem. God so loved the world that he gave his only one son. For me, Christmas is joy. Sharing. Family. Togetherness. Hope. It's happiness. Appreciating what I've got. It's an opportunity to remind people that they are cared for.